Long ago in our days when SSD drives were crazy expensive that only the likes of Donald Trump could actually afford them. Now every manufacturer has in store something for everyone. And so you have your budget offering, something mid-range, higher end and top of the line which is still far from being affordable. How does an entry-level SSD compare to its higher end counterpart? Let's find out. I'll be comparing the C50 series 120GB good RAM SSD to the 240GB Iridium Pro drive from the same manufacturer. I know it's not exactly a fair comparison since the C50 has been discontinued, but it still should give you an idea on real-life performance of differently priced SSDs. I benchmarked both on an Intel 6700K Skylake CPU running at stock 4GHz on an ASRock Z170M Extreme 4 motherboard with 16GB of RAM. But first let's take a quick look at each drive. The C50 features Fizen S3108 controller and 24nm MLC memory chips made by Toshiba. The Iridium Pro sports the Fizen S10 quad-core controller and Toshiba's 19nm MLC flash memory modules. Both feature 256MB of cache memory and mandatory these days trim technology. The C50 comes with 3 years warranty, while the more expensive drive gets 2 years more. The latter also features smart refresh, smart flush and guaranteed flush technologies, which might as well be empty words to make you feel better about how you spend your money. Ok, now onto the benchmarks. While the sequential read speeds are somewhat similar, the more expensive Iridium Pro drive easily outperforms the C50 when it comes to handling random access. Iridium Pro is also around 80% faster when writing data. Differences in row numbers are quite significant, but will they have a noticeable impact in your typical use case scenarios, such as OS boot times or loading games? When it comes to OS boot times, the difference between the two is measured in tens of a second. The C50 needs a little over one second longer to launch StarCraft 2, but in City Skylines the results are again pretty much identical. So is it worth the additional cost? As far as the real-life performance is concerned, I would say no, not really. But with higher price comes something more important, something called reliability expressed by the longer warranty period. And since I'm the kind of guy who prefers to be saved and sorry, I don't mind playing the premium to ease my mind a little bit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.